Then we come to rice. Oh, yeah. So any any of these? Yeah. Or? So we'll give um, a box. Yeah. It's one of those things that I can relate to. Be it when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have a lot. We were always on the breadline, um, struggling to pay the bills to get food in. So it's definitely a, a relevant. Uh, problem that I can relate to from when I was a kid. So I just, I suppose it's just me wanting to do my bit to help raise awareness for the food bank and to get people to sort of know that it's here, for one, and, and maybe to tell people if they can to donate food and their time if they can, um, and to basically say that we need to not have a food bank. It's been a really important day for us today because James Morrison has come in. He's got lived experience of food poverty. He's been very open about the fact that he experienced food poverty growing up as a child. So it's been really great for him to come in. He understands our work but was really eager to learn more. He was horrified to learn about the number of people that we feed across the district. At the moment, we're feeding over 500 people per month. And with an inflation at 7% and rising, we're really worried about what the future ahead is. I was getting really emotional just putting the food into the boxes, seeing what this charity is actually giving to people. Like these are two substantial boxes of food um, that when I was a kid, if we had had a box like this delivered to us every week, we, we would have been a lot better off. But like I say, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be it. They should be able to, you know, afford to be able to buy the bare minimum of food that you need to survive, really. And, and people, people can't. People that sh are working too, you know, not just people on benefits. It's people who are working. They've got normal jobs, and they still can't afford the food. So it is a bit of a, bit of a problem. We are so lucky here at Stroud District Food Bank. We have over 150 volunteers who give over 10,000 hours each year of their free time. Um, we have volunteers who drive for us, so uh, take deliveries to clients. We have drivers who collect from supermarkets. We have uh, warehouse staff that will come in and uh, category categorise all of our um, tea and coffee into years and everything gets weighed in before it gets put away. There's always a job to be done at Food Bank um, so there's always something to be done. People are, are, are bringing um, donations in and they're getting um, you know, delivered to families who really need it but on the other hand it shouldn't even be it. So it's a double, it's a funny thing, you know, it's like seeing all this food and people doing their bit, it's really heartwarming to know that there's, there's somewhere you can come to get a little bit of respite if you need it. But equally, it shouldn't, it shouldn't really be it.